Okay, America, Chef John, get a gourmet. I went back to the outlet. Cream cheese, dollar forty-nine. I needed to get this some fresh stuff if we're going to start doing some shortbreads. Now I want to be right on track with it. When it goes bad, stuff in there I figure is like at seventy percent of the strength it should, and I want stuff at a hundred percent strength. Brand new peanut butter because you got to have it. Didn't have any good jelly, but I got honey. More butter because more butter is always good. This was seventy-nine cents. Bought it. Marshmallows. I saw somebody toast a marshmallow, and I got a craving. The honey Dijons I like, this, pepper, and, uh, oh, the whole thing of coffee, eight bucks, and I like Folgers, it's strong, you know, I was buying the chuff and stuff that was like five ninety nine or, and I, it was just, you know, it wasn't, you know, I might as well use something that's strong enough, gets good flavor, and lasts a little bit longer, actually in the long run, this is better, uh, another thing of sourdough, yeah, and, I don't know, should I show kids how to put um, marshmallows and chips on a grilled cheese, ham and cheese sandwich? Ham and cheese sandwich? That's how Philip Ryan would say it. He'd say sandwich. <laughs> Philip Ryan. Well, he's in my book. He just went, he's just an awesome kid I grew up with. and You'd have to meet him. He's just the goofiest kid. You know the kid on the mad thing who's all like, right? Take the features and just push them down just a little bit so they're not so crazy. And that's Philip Ryan. And you couldn't make him mad. We gave him an atomic fire. Well, see, Michael and Brian started it, right? And we were supposed to play football. And we met on the field. And then I got there, and Michael and Brian had already got his underwear up to about here while dragging Philip up and down the field at Jackweed Park in Tacoma Park, Maryland, where I grew up. And we were like, you know, eight years old maybe, and so they had it most of the way up there, and it was they were howling and hooting and laughing, and it was pretty funny. So I jumped in and I'm helping, and Philip was all like, well, "You guys, and you just stop it, just stop it." And Phil could not take a swing at nobody. He could just, and he just tried to get his underwear back. And he just, you stop it. And we finally got him up there, and then, um, then we all tumbled down into the ground, gagged up, and into a laughing. The stereo. The Phil had to go home. Yeah. Phil was the youngest of 12 children. Pretty cool. Phil Prime. But he had a group one. Yeah, well, anyways, yes. The true atomic wedgie. Seen it? Been a foul hand in it. Terrible, terrible person I was. And normally, see, I was the one being picked on, so. Yeah. There's no fun in the long run because Phil went home and there was no game. All right. <laughs> oh, this was all $22. So, and $8 for the coffee, $4 for the butter. So, right there, that's $12. And $2 for the chips. Well, anyways, 